Hi, this is Jackson Hogan with RealSkeeters.com here to talk to you about Rocker. Now Rocker, or this split up in the tips, is going to be around with us for a while. So let's learn to understand it better and what the significance is of different types of Rocker and how it affects your skiing. Let's start with this Kessley MX Limited. Now this is an old school ski, so their idea of Rocker is a pretty limited split, what I'd in fact call early rise. This is going to ski essentially like a fully cambered ski, just one that's not so easy to catch the tip as you roll into the top of the turn. Otherwise, you can expect this ski basically to have stem to stern connection to the snow along a continuous constant edge. Now that's not going to be the same program for what we see here with the Blizzard Brahma. Here we see a more exaggerated split in the forebody, what I would consider a fully rockered front. But how's it going to ski? Is this rockered front going to flap back and forth in the snow or is it going to remain connected? It's going to remain connected and the reason is in the flip core construction. Because of the way they designed this ski with the core upside down, as soon as that ski is loaded by your weight and tipping, the rocker completely blends with the rest of the ski. It essentially disappears into the natural flexed state of the ski. So you end up with continuous contact just like you would on the MX, even though you have a much more exaggerated rocker profile in the front of the ski. Now, let's take a look at what Nordica does with their popular Enforcer 100. Here you have rocker tip and a little bit of rocker in the tail, pretty deep split back here but you've got traditional camber underfoot. They also have used what they call a hammerhead tip design, which is designed also to keep this tip from getting too busy, to help, to help it stay in contact with the snow, despite the fact that when we look at its rocker line, it looks pretty exaggerated. And yet, you're gonna find relatively little tip wobble on this very stout ski, simply because of the strength of the construction overall. There's two sheets of metal inside this Nordica Enforcer 100. Now that's not the same choice that Rosignol made when it put this big honkin' rocker on the Sol 7 HD. As with the case of Sol 7s of years past, the forebody of the ski, where you see this beautiful sort of cathedral-like lighting effect in the choroid tip, this ski essentially disembodies the tip from the rest of it. So this rocker part of the ski, unlike the case with the Kessley, the Nordica, or the Blizzard, isn't going to contribute to the ski's turning radius because if you look at the ski's side cut in addition to its baseline, you see that once again, even the side cut basically cuts off the tip of the ski from the rest of the construction. So this tip is going to stay very loose and floaty, which it should because the Soul 7 HD is intended primarily to be skied off trail. This is Jackson Hogan for Real Skiers TV.